Hello, I'm Carlos Huerta and this is a video tutorial on how to use US Max Fusion's member-only networking platform. First of all, how do I get to this page? Well, you can simply type in net.usmaxfusion.org and it'll open or go to the main US Max Fusion website and there is a link to the networking platform here as well as here under this drop-down menu. Once you're here, you're going to need a username and password and because this platform is by invitation only uh, you're, you should be getting an email like this or you should have already gotten it with your username and password in this case I'm gonna use Benjamin Franklin and uh, this is my username and password so I'm gonna go ahead and enter it um, Benjamin F and my password was or is hello 15 okay so once I'm in there very first thing I'm going to do is go to settings and double check that my information is correct. This is the, the display name, so I want to make sure that my name shows correctly and then the organization or institution I work for shows correctly as well. In this section, I can change change my password and I double check that my email is has been correctly entered and the language that I want the interface to be in. In this case, I'm going to leave English because this tutorial is in English. Okay, so after going to settings, I'm going to go ahead and click on my name and what it's going to show is my wall basically. So this is my wall and what I need to do now is to add my picture. Click here where these three dots are, edit cover you would change the background but I recommend just leaving it like, like that this edit avatar is the section where you can upload your picture so I'm gonna go ahead and upload Benjamin Franklin's picture then here you are going to choose the part of the picture that you want to uh, show and as you can see now your wall has your picture now the next thing you're going to do is add your profile information here so you go again here and click on edit profile and then you're going to enter information about you location interest skills uh, contact email telephone mobile website twitter username all of these um, boxes are not compulsory so you can fill out the ones that you would like to and I recommend that you leave this as is, uh, that all the information should, can be seen by logged in users. Once you're finished doing that, you click on save. And let me show you an example of how that looks like. For example, I've done mine already. And if I go to my wall, these are the posts that I have already added. And uh, But if I click on my profile information, then you can see my contact information etc okay let's go back to Benjamin Franklin the next thing you are going to want to do is explore the different tools that this platform gives you okay so we're gonna see quickly one by one activity is basically the overall activity in the platform you can also get to activity if you click on US Max Vision's logo and this is a micro blogging tool so basically whatever is in your mind you can enter here you can say for example hello everyone and then but it only gives you 140 characters I think it is a short message to everyone so Benjamin Franklin added this message you can like it or not the next thing you want to do is explore blogs and what this lets you do is create a blog for yourself um, bookmarks let you add links existing links within the community or external links let me show you an example um, if I go to uh, members and Carlos Huerta I added a link um, my link my bookmarks sorry you can see here that i added this article 
and this is the link with a short description of it so if people click on it they're gonna go to the link now let's go back and let's go to Benjamin Franklin and show you the next section files this is uh, you can upload files any kind of file that you want to share with the community groups can be created I created for example a test group and um, I can join the group and and within the group members of this group can create polls bookmarks blog have their own blog files activity pages and and a, and a forum which is like a group discussion members it shows you the members that are part of the community popular members as well as members that are online in pages this also lets you create pages obviously simple pages now the last thing I want to show you is once you're on your wall you can add widgets to your wall and widgets are uh, sections that allow you to easily see all the different posts that you have created so I created I, I added these widgets here to my wall and it's going to show me the pages that I have created, the files that I've shared, the bookmarks that I've shared, the blog posts that I've shared. Finally, um, you're probably at some point going to want to send a private message to a member. A way to do that is first of all you want to know the member's username. Now the member's username is the in this case is the one here that has the at symbol so my username is admin let's see another username uh, Benjamin Franklin's username is Benjamin F so there is two options you either write the name the username of the person you want to send the private message to or you go to the wall of the person you want to send the private message to let's say I want to send a private message to Jennifer Granger her username is Jennifer but I instead can go here and send her a message and so here I write the subject and the message and then I hit send so I hope this video tutorial has been helpful for you thank you so much